Hello, I'm ZenoCow, and in this episode of Bite Size, I'm going to show you 10 tips that you need to know for your first day or two in Starbase. If you're having difficulty with Starbase crashing often, the developers have suggested, and has been tested, myself included, to follow these steps. Click on Steam, Settings, In-Game, then you're going to unselect Enable the Steam Overlay while in-game. And down here in Steam Networking, change it from Default to Never. Select OK, and then try playing again. If you ever find yourself floating out in the middle of nowhere and you seem to have lost your ship, all you need to do to get another is press Escape, click on Insurance Transfer, click on Origin, then you press F8, you can restart the tutorial, and just at the point in the tutorial where you are given the ship, and the first time, you get to get it again, and you'll be on your way with a new ship. If your ship was taken from you unreasonably by either griefers or some horrible game-breaking glitch, feel free to ask the developers, and they should give you a voucher for a new ship, which you can buy in the Sunny Ship Center. If you find yourself losing your ship and then ask the developers for a voucher for a new ship, you're going to have to then be able to redeem that voucher. And to do that, you're going to need to go to the Sunny Ship Center. So if you look down there, that's all the work sites where at the beginning of the tutorial, you did all those jobs. And then if you look up here, there's the, the Sunny Ship Center. Let's fly over there and we'll look around inside to see where it is you need to redeem your voucher. I'll walk in through the left entrance on the landing pads. I see plenty of nice ships, but we're looking for the laborer. Uh, not in here. Look over here. Nope. Not in here either. Then we walk into the center room, and here it is. So what you're going to do is you're going to walk over here, and you're going to click buy. Now I can't do it, but if you have a voucher, you'll click buy, and it'll tell you that you can buy it with the voucher. Where else can you spawn your ship? At any of these areas that have the big L above them, or landing pad, you can spawn your ship here. Additionally. At landing pads such as this, you can spawn either down here on the main deck or travel up one of these pathways, press Q to change orientation, and spawn your ship from one of these terminals. If you found that your fuel chamber fuel has run out, first of all make sure that you have generators set to off, and then you're going to want to replace the fuel rod. Now luckily the beginner ship starts with some spares. So you're going to press E to pick up the old fuel rod and then grab a new fuel rod. If it's not snapping into place, press C to enable or disable snapping. Also, if it's not oriented the right way, you can hold down Y, X, or Z to rotate in those axes. If you want to be extra sure that it doesn't fall out of your ship, hold down left mouse button with your bolt tool, which can be found in your inventory, and then dragged onto your hotbar to bolt it in just to make sure. Sometimes they have a tendency to fall out. Don't forget to turn the generator back on before you get flying. If you find yourself low on propellant, you can fly to one of the various gas stations on Origin Station and fill up there. The gas stations look like these areas with six terminals. We're going to fly over to one of them. You'll connect your resource bridge to the resource bridge on the station. Walk over to this terminal and press buy all. Or if you want to just buy a little bit, maybe you're strapped for cash, feel free to do that. If you've run out of fresh fuel rods, you can buy more in the auction house. Press comma to open the auction menu. Click on parts, machinery, and then if you look and see down here at the bottom, we see Tier 1 Generator Fuel Rod. Click on that, we'll see a list of lots of prices. Let's just buy one of the cheap ones. You can buy that, now it's in our inventory. 
grab it and drop it out into the world. Pick it up. Then you can put it in your ship. After the tutorial, you may want to research some more of the items in the tech tree. But to do so, you need these various types of points, which I don't know if they have any names right now, but I'll just call them by their colors, red, yellow, blue, and purple. And so the, probably the first thing you're going to want to research are thrusters. And to do that, you're going to need some of this yellow resource. To get any of the research resources, you're going to come over to the workbench, press H to open up the crafting, and craft any items. Now, if you notice, when you hover over any of the modules, you'll see first there's the weight, storage, volume, blah, blah, blah. Then you see what you need to craft it. Bastium and Bacarium for this one, for example. And then below that, you'll see the two resources and how much it gives on the right side. Now, of course, we're going to want yellow resource. And none of the first things, except for one item, will give you any of that. So if we go down to crafting benches, we hover over that, we can see that the basic crafting bench gives you 576 of the yellow resource. And after crafting that, it does take quite a bit of time, you can actually put it on your ship. And that way, if you're out in some place and your ship gets damaged or you want to just add stuff while you're out flying around, you can do that. You can then craft things on your ship wherever you are. If you make a mistake in placing one of the modules on your ship in the easy build mode, how you remove it is by pressing I to open your inventory, find the welding tool, drag it down to your hotbar, close the inventory, press whatever number it might be, make sure that if your weapons or whatever it is is facing up, you press B to point it down and then you're going to fly over to your ship. When it turns green, hover over it, you're going to hold down the right mouse button and that will take it away. And if you then want to replace it, go to the crafting menu, find whatever that thing is. Currently you can't see what's in storage, but you just have to remember that it's there. And then you can put it down, scroll wheel to rotate, and put it right back where it was. If while you're out mining, you click some ore that you don't want, but you don't want it taking up room in your inventory, you can press I to open your inventory, click on the ore that you don't want, drag it outside of the inventory screen, let go, and it'll be placed in the world as a block. If you decide to venture into the marketplace, there are only really two shops worth using, plus an area to sell things. If you go over here, you can search your inventories to sell ore and sell ore at this terminal and anything's in your storage or in your pockets money. Be careful to sell all button. There's, it won't ask you again. It will just sell everything, so use it wisely. The other two things that you might want to use in the marketplace are up this chute. The fastest way to get there. Right, just walk in here. Fly up. This area is nice here if you like to look out on the people going about their business. But through this hallway here, we'll find the auction house. Of course, you can just press the comma key and don't have to go and press this button. But the only shop that's actually open for business in here is Kite, which sells various cosmetics. Here's a bonus one for you. If you want to save on generator fuel, you can alter this button, generator, by pressing U, making sure that you have the data tab open. You may need to press U a couple times. And changing this button on state value from 100, normally it starts at 100, to first you can go to 35 if you have just two engines. If you have four engines, four engines, I suggest going up to 38. This way it won't burn so much fuel while you're not having to use it. One other quick note about the marketplace is there is a spawn terminal that you can select an empty slot and click on bind to set a new binding so that when you press escape and go to insurance transfer, you can choose the marketplace to spawn. A bonus note on retrieving ships is that if you go to a ship spawn terminal, after teleporting back to spawn, you can tow it and 
for the first little while until they fix a lot of the bugs and do it for just one credit. Otherwise, it might cost more depending on how far away from the station it is. 